Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, divergence, stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the hourly time frame for IOTA, the price dipped down with around 3.6% but then came up again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1.33. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 52, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, the price has already gone up owing to the last bullish divergence. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions. Jumping to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 45, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next.